Um, this is Keith here again. I'm going to walk through this song, Look Out For My Love, by Neil Young. It was on his album, it Comes, a T Comes A Time. It's a lot of good songs on that album. Um, I kind of feel like it's a forgotten album. But this is one of the songs that I think he did with Crazy Horse on that album. So, uh, And I am using a Herco guitar pick. This is what he allegedly uses. Uh, I read that in the book Shaky. It's a biography of Neil Young. And these are his preferred picks of choice. As well, I can't afford a D45, so I got um, just another spruce top acoustic. So without further, further ado, let's go ahead and go through the chords. So this song, I like to call it separated into sections. You know, obviously we have the verse, we have the chorus, and another little thing, a walk down, which is the end of the chorus. That's the, that part, which we'll walk through that. And the key chain. So you know all three of those parts, we're gonna have, you have your whole song pretty much constructed. So from the very beginning, the four chords are an E, then a D, then an A, then a G. And the way that he does the strumming, I'm not sure exactly how Neil Young does the strumming on this song in particular. I do know he does a lot of his songs just straight up and down with everything, like the needle and the damage done. But um, this one I'm not so not so sure. On the song, there's two guitars on there, so it's kind of hard to distinguish one besides the other. But there is a way to get it to kind of sound um, relatively good with just the one guitar. So a lot of it are these little embellishments that he does when he's playing the verse. And the first one is right on the first chord, the E. Instead of just playing the E, going straight to the D after that, instead of just doing this, we're gonna do a little hammer-on, not necessarily hammer-on, just a little embellishment on the E string with your pinky finger. Then just jump straight down to the D. And then now you're gonna go to the A. And I'm barring the A this time because I'm gonna do the embellishment on the B string with my other finger here. You're gonna do one of these on the B string. And that'll give you that cool. And a kind of trick that maybe, it's a technique that may or may not come to you instinctively, but instead of just going straight to the G, we're gonna kind of pull off that A chord with my finger. So it's very subtle, but it adds a little something extra. And you'll see what I mean. So it's the E to the D to the A. You hear that? So. Very subtle, very subtle. So from there, we're gonna go to the chorus, which is a B minor. Look out to a G. For my love, he does that four times. And that's the own it part. It's just a hit, it's gonna hit down on that E chord twice. And you can do it down here too. And that might be useful to you. Instead of doing it that way, you could do it this way. It doesn't have quite the punch power as in the open, but whatever feels comfortable because next we're gonna do that little walk down after the it. So again, that is the E. Hit that twice, and I like to give a little 
mute chug there before I jump into that walk down. And what the walk down is, is on the seventh fret A string, hammer down onto the ninth fret, and then the D string on the seventh fret, slide down to the sixth fret. So it's then back to the A string. Then we're gonna take that sixth fret and walk it down again and then hit down on that A string on the fifth fret. So it's and then the second part of that would be so it's the first part of that walk down the first time we did it that's going to stay the same almost so you're going to do that the same way but instead of going with the one string you're going to hit them both kind of like a double stop and slide them both down two frets so it sounds like so both together will sound like this back to the first. So after that, we're going to go into the last little confusing section of this whole thing, which is the bridge or the key change. So where you have the verse, we're going to go into the chorus. four times all right last time now go to a C to an E minor it's in your neighborhood right A minor So it's C. It's in your neighborhood with an E minor. I know things are going to change. A minor. But I can't say bad or good. The G. So all together, let's do a little truncated version of the song with one... How about this? We'll just do one little verse, one little chorus, and one key change, and then the walk down to kind of give you a microcosm of what the whole song is. So it's... shit that's that song and as far as what i was saying with the strumming pattern it's easier just kind of listen to the song or kind of it's best if you just sing the song while you're playing it and learning it kind of get that feel for it There's a rain on and a lot of that palm muting this is where things go to the next level of fun for me because you could do crazy things with stuff like this i could take it and do a lot of this little bumpity tappity palm muty things and
also fun. So yeah, you can... So yeah, mess around with that. It's really fun to kind of change the way things are if you just want to make the song your own or if you just want to do it. Just the way you hear it on the record itself. But anyway, I hope that was helpful and I hope you have a great day. And riff on. <laughs> so silly.